Fifth grade, chapter six, lesson seven, subtraction with Prenini. Unlock the problem. To practice for a race, Kara is running two and a half miles. When she reaches the end of her street, she knows that she has already run one and five, six miles. How many miles does Kara have left to run? Underline the sentence that tells you what you need to find. So what are we looking to find? What operation should you use to solve the problem? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Subtract. Subtract. So subtraction. One way. Reading the first mixed number. So subtract. Two and a half minus one and five six. Estimate the difference. We'd estimate two and a half to we can leave it at two and a half, right? So two and a half minus what would we estimate one and five six to? Two. Two, which equals one half. One half. Find a common denominator. Use the common denominator to write equivalent fractions with like denominators. So they said a, um, a common denominator would be 12, when in reality, did they really have to change 12? No. No, they could have kept it with the 6, but they went ahead and changed it. So what they did was they said 2 and 1 half also equals 2 and 6 twelfths. And 1 and 5, 6 also equals 1 and 10 twelfths. So then they rewrote the 1 and 10 twelfths because the thing is, can you take 10 twelfths from 6 twelfths? No. No. Okay. So they went ahead and rewrote that because it'll see the same, but this top number won't. Okay. What could 2 be written as with a whole number and as a fraction? I could do 1. What would also represent 1, guys? What's 1 whole as a fraction using 12 as a denominator? 12 12. 12, 12. So I could rewrite 1 and 12 twelfths right here. But then I still have this 6 twelfths that I need to add in there with it. Okay? So I would do 1 and 12 twelfths plus 6 twelfths, which gives me what? 18 twelfths. 1 and 18 twelfths. And have you guys seen numbers like that? Yes. And then I made you guys convert them into a simplified form of it, right? And you were adding. So basically, 1 in 18 twelfths minus 1 in 10 twelfths leaves you with 8 twelfths. And then they want it simplified, so that would be what? 4 Well. Something else goes in there more than two. What goes into eight and twelve? Four. four, right? How many times does four go into eight? Four. Two times. How many times into twelve? Three. Three times. So over here we said two and six twelfths could also equal one and eighteen twelfths. And then it said find the difference. And we did that. So Kara has two thirds mile left to run. Explain why it is important to write equivalent fractions before renaming. You need a common denominator to start the problem. Another way, rename both mixed numbers as a fraction greater than one. So write equivalent fractions using a common denominator. A common denominator of one half and five six is six. So in this case, all you're doing is um, renaming one of them. Now sometimes both of them need to be renamed, but in some cases, if you have a common denominator already, all you have to do is rename one, right? So what would we keep the same? The one and five six, right? Yeah. And then you have to change the two, and what would we make one half into? Three six. Three, six. We name both mixed numbers as fractions greater than one. But can we take five or three six minus five six? No, because five six is still bigger than three six. So once again, we're going to keep this as one and five six. But what is that two going to become? A one. A one. Actually, what they're saying is, guys, that you can make it. 6, 6 plus 6, 6 plus 3, 6. But let's do it this way. We would make this 2, 1 and 6, 6, which would also make it what? 
1 and 1 and 9 6. So now we're going to take 1 and 9 6 minus 1 and 5 6 and get what left over? 4 6, which is also equal to Whatever goes into both four and six days, two. two. So four goes in, or two goes into four twice, <coughs> and two goes into six three times. Three times. So two half or two and a half minus one and five six equals two thirds. Two thirds. Share and show. Estimate, then find the difference and write it in simplest form. So what are we going to estimate one and three fourths to? Um. One or two. Two. So two minus, what are we going to estimate seven eighths to? One. One. So two minus one equals one. one. Now we need to write this vertically. One and three fourths minus seven eighths. Okay, what's going to be our new denominator? Eight. 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 So can we keep seven eighths? Yes. And then, this would be one and three fourths. What do we need to convert that to then? We said one and then we needed eight in our denominator. So how do we get from four to eight? Times two. Eight. Times two. So what I do on the bottom, I do on the top. So three times two is? Eight. But now can I take six eighths minus seven eighths? Yeah. No, the seven eighths is clearly bigger than six eighths. So this is going to become what? My one's going to become what, guys? Eight eighths. <coughs> so now, eight eighths plus six eighths is? Fourteen eighths. And then minus my what? Seven eighths, if I can keep that right. So 14 eighths minus 7 eighths equals 7 eighths. 7 eighths. Let me circle my answer. So is 7 eighths close to 1? Yes. Yes. I need to estimate again. So 12 and 1 ninth is close to 12. 12 minus 7 and 1 third is close to 7. 12 minus 7 equals 5. So, I need to write it vertically, right? 12 and 1 ninth minus 7 and 1 third. So, what's going to be my new denominator? 12 and 1 So, I can keep my 12 and 1 ninth for right now. And then 7, and then we said our new denominator is 9. How did I get from 3 to 9? Three times three. So what I do on the bottom, I also do on the top. So one times three is three. three. Now, can I take one ninth minus three ninths? No. No, because three ninths is bigger than one ninth. So this is now going to become eleven and what? Eleven and nine ninths. Eleven and nine ninths. So now, what is eleven and nine ninths plus one ninth? Eleven and two. 11 and 10 ninths minus my 7 and 3 ninths. So what is 10 ninths minus 3 ninths? 7 ninths. 7 ninths. And then 11 minus 7 is? 4. 4. So 4 and 7 ninths. Is that close to 5? Yes. Yes. Estimate, then find the difference and write in simplest form. So four and a half, we'd estimate two, five, minus three and four fifths, four equals one. So now I need to write it vertically. So four and one half minus three and four fifths. What's going to be my new denominator, guys? Ten. Ten. So I'm going to keep my 4, I'm going to have 10 as my new denominator. I'm going to keep my 3, I'm going to have 10 as my new denominator. How did I get from 2 to 10? 
times five. Times five. What I do on the bottom, I also do on the top. So one times five is five. Five. And then how did I get from five to ten? Times two. So what I do on the bottom, I also do on the top. So four times two is eight. Eight. Now can I take five tenths minus eight tenths? No, it's not enough. So now I need to make this into what? Three and ten tenths. Okay. Because guys, I always keep my same denominator, and in order to make it a one or a whole. I have the same numerator then, okay? So in this case, my 10 is my denominator, so then I have to put a 10 in my numerator. So now 3 and 10 tenths plus 5 tenths is? 15 tenths. Well, 3, three. and 15 tenths. Minus my 3 and 8 tenths, because I don't have to change anything for that this time. What is 15 minus 8? 7 tenths. Seven tenths. And then our 3 minus 3 is 0, but do we put that? No. If you don't have a whole number to put with it, you don't put a 0. So our answer is 7 tenths. Estimate. So 916 would be 9 minus 2 and 3 fourths equals 6. Have to write it vertically. 9 and 1 6. Minus 2 and 3 fourths. What's going to be my new denominator, guys? 12. 12. Okay. So I can write 9 and then put my 12 as my denominator. I can write 2 and put 12 as my denominator. How did I get from 6 to 12? Times 2. Times 2. So what I do on the bottom, I also have to do on the top. So 1 times 2 is 2. two. How did I get from 4 to 12? Times three. times 3. So what I do on the bottom, I can also do on the top. So 3 times 3 is 9. nine. Now, can I take 2 twelfths minus 9 twelfths? No. No. So this 9 has to become 8, eight and 12 twelfths. 8 and 12 twelfths, which now equals 8 and 12 twelfths plus 2 twelfths equals 14 twelfths. 8 and 14 twelfths minus our original 2 and 9 twelfths or are converted to a 9 twelfths. All right, what is 14 minus 9? 5. So 5 twelfths and then 8 minus 2 is 6. So 6 and 5 twelfths is our answer. On your own, estimate and find the difference and write in simplest form. We would estimate 3 and 2 thirds to 4. Oh, 4. Minus 1 and 11 twelfths. 2. 2 equals 2. So now I have to write it vertically. Vertically. So 3 and 2 thirds minus 1 and 11 twelfths. What is going to be my new denominator? 12. 12. So I can leave the le or 1 and 11 twelfths the same, right? Then I have to change my 3 and 2 thirds into something with 12 as my denominator. So what is, how do I get from 3 to 12? 4. Times 4. So what I do on the bottom, I also do on the top. So 2 times 4 is 8. eight. Now, can I take 11 or 8 twelfths minus 11 twelfths? No. So, we need to make this 13 into 2. Minus 3? The 3. Yeah, I accidentally wrote 13. Sorry. 2 and 12 twelfths. So, this 3 will become 2 and 12 twelfths. Now, 2 and 12 twelfths plus 8 twelfths equals 20 twelfths. 2 and 20 twelfths minus 1 and 11 twelfths. Or should we go 1 and 9 twelfths? So 20 minus 11 equals 9 twelfths. And then 2 minus 1 equals 1. Is that simplified? No. No. So equals. 
1 and what goes into 9 and 12? 3, 3. 3. So 3 goes into 9.